once the wallet is installed, you can click Activate Coin, and you'll be able to choose Native Mode. Now, in Native Mode, you will have to download the entire blockchain, and you will also have to wait for it to synchronize each time you load the wallet up. Um, native Mode is only recommended for people that know what Native is and, and really um, need it most people use light mode because of the convenience however native mode um, keeps your komodo private keys in something called a wallet that as opposed to having it in a seed for example like on light mode so when you launch uh, the native wallet you'll have to wait for the activating best chain and the blocks to load once it finishes loading you'll have to synchronize any blocks that are missing. For example, if you shut down the wallet at night uh, and you leave it offline for 12 hours, when you bring it back online, you will have to synchronize for those, those missing blocks between those 12 hours. Um, and in any case, I will leave it a few seconds while it loads, and then I will teach you how to back up your wallet that, where is where your private keys are located. Once the wallet is loaded, we can open our folder. And if we type app data and then navigate to Komodo, we see that there is a file called wallet that. In this file, we want to copy and we want to save it in a safe place now do you want to back this file up each time you make a transaction and each time you create a new address the reason why you want to back it up every time you make a transaction is because on native you generate something called change address basically if you send 50 komodo but you have a hundred komodo input you have to get 50 komodo back and that change will be sent to a new address in your wallet that and that's why you need to back this up. If you run an asset chain on native, for example, now once the native wallets are synced, you can also use the Agama tool in order to export your private keys. So if I am at my Komodo wallet in my receive tab, I see that there is an address. I can copy this address and if I navigate to Agama settings, wallet.keys, I pick coin and I type or paste the address it will start fetching the keys and it will give me a private key also called a whiff key with this key I will be able to spend funds and I will also be able to claim interest if I don't have the wallet that for that particular address and that's why it's very important to export your private keys if you um, might not have access to your wallet that all the time. That's pretty much the basic functions of the native wallet. You can repeat the export of the private keys for any of the coins on, on Agama on native. And if you have any questions, please navigate to support.komodoplatform.com and drop us a ticket. Have a great day.